Hi, I'm Kim West. Welcome to my channel for all things pelvic floor health, Pilates, and emotional wellness. In this video, I'm guiding you through a pelvic floor lift that helps tone the pelvic floor through three exercises in a seated position. Ideally, our pelvic floor strengthens and becomes more flexible in dynamic movement using our breath. But it's also important to do pelvic floor lifts seated without the distraction of your body moving so you can sense the lift of the pelvic floor and become more skilled at isolating that muscle group. All three exercises are in a seated position that's comfortable for you. That might be sitting on a bolster or a thick blanket, a chair, a physio ball, whatever works best. Find your seat. Take a few moments to settle in. We'll take three breaths to center. Breathe in, feeling the body expand. Breathe out, relax the shoulders. Breathe into the belly. Feel the pelvis widen. And exhale, feel the spine tall, but relaxed. One more time, breathe in. And send all the air out. Part one of this series is using imagery. Imagine a soft chiffon scarf, very lightweight. This scarf will be at the bottom of your pelvis. Reviewing our pelvic floor diaphragm anatomy, when we inhale, air fills the lungs, diaphragm contracts downwards, the pelvic organs in the pelvic floor lower slightly as well, the pelvis widens. When we exhale, the pelvic floor and the diaphragm contract up, sending the air out, and that's the lift of the pelvic floor. For us to keep that gentle quality, we're gonna use the visual of the scarf. The scarf is at the bottom of the pelvis. As we inhale, the scarf flattens out onto the floor. As we exhale, we envision the scarf lifting up through the vaginal canal, up through the center of the body. Gently lifting. As we inhale, the scarf floats down, widens, and releases onto the floor. Exhale, gently lift through the center of the pelvis. Drawing up, drawing up, drawing up, and inhale, gently release, letting the scarf release onto the ground. One more time, lifting up, gently drawing the scarf up, and releasing it back down. Part two, let's review our anatomy. The pelvis is a bull. At the front of the pelvis, we have the pubic bone. At the back of the, we have the tailbone. When we tilt the pelvis forward, there's more contraction at the front of the pelvis. When we tilt the pelvis back, there's more contraction to the back. In the middle of the pubic bone and the tailbone is the hammock of the pelvic floor muscles. Depending on how your pelvis is situated will determine what part of the muscles you're engaging. Do a few pelvic tilts here, arching a bit forward, tilting the tailbone under. You could exaggerate a bit to feel the extremes of the two. And then come to where it feels like you're somewhere in the middle. We have the vaginal canal in the front and the anal canal behind. In the middle is where our focus is on the pelvic floor muscles between those two openings. If we go back to the image of the scarf and keep that gentle quality of releasing and lifting, but have it localized in that area in the center of your pelvis, then we're becoming even more clear about a pelvic floor lift. Let's try this. Breathe in and feel the pelvis widen. Breathe out as if you're drawing up the scarf in the center of your pelvis, those center pelvic floor muscles. Inhale, widen in all directions evenly. 
exhale pelvic floor lifts from those center muscles that energy channels upwards through the center of your body again inhale release pelvis opens in all directions exhale draw in from the center of your body think of that location if it helps one more time and breathe in widen the pelvis lift as if you're lifting the scar from the center of the body okay imagery is different for everyone so you might find that the scarf image really works for you or doesn't you might find that knowing the anatomy is helpful for you or maybe both of them together work well for you we'll bring these together in the final step of the exercise this is called an elevator lift it can be challenging if you haven't done it before you might feel your pelvic floor muscles flickering on and off getting a bit confused or uncoordinated totally normal and fine especially in the beginning be patient with yourself it takes a lot of mental focus it's exhaling as if we're going up an elevator lifting the pelvic floor up through levels as if you're in a six floor building at each floor you'll bring more lift and effort until you're all the way up at the top and it's your strongest lift from the center of the pelvis between the vaginal canal and the anal canal those muscles are lifting lifting once you get to the top or you might say the penthouse of the building instead of letting it all go we're going down just as slow as we went up the elevator as we were going down one level at a time so that we create endurance as we release the pelvic floor this is where we gain strength in the pelvic floor let's try this together do any little wiggles or adjustments you need make sure your lower back and your hips feel comfortable breathe in to prep exhale drop the shoulders you're at the bottom of the building breathe in as you exhale, you move up to the first level. So it's maybe 10, 15% effort. Hold that gentle lift. Inhale here. And exhale, come up to the second floor. Now maybe you're at 25, 30% effort. Holding here as you inhale. Exhale to the third floor more effort you're about halfway breathe in exhale to the fourth floor getting a bit stronger here inhale Coming up to the fifth floor, you might be up to 80, 85% of effort in lifting. Hold here as you inhale. Exhale up to the top, the penthouse. You lift up as much as your pelvic floor can. Feel as though you're lifting your pelvic organs, your bladder, your uterus. Again, you might have the flicker, that's fine keep breathing as you're maintaining this lift now without letting it go too quickly we're going to go super slow gently release about 15 percent down to the fifth level breathe here let go a tiny bit more to the fourth level breathe as you lower down third level about 50 percent contraction breathe and let go a bit more now you're at the second level breathe as you lower down to the bottom of the building completely release your pelvic floor take a natural breath let it go mentally and physically that is a lot don't worry if it didn't feel great the first time <laughs> as you practice it will improve and you will increase that endurance in your pelvic floor that feeling of lifting and holding without gripping and squeezing 
is what is going to create balance throughout your whole pelvis and be supportive for any type of exercise you're doing. I hope this is helpful for you. If it was, please hit subscribe, like, comment, and I'd love to hear how this exercise felt for your body. Thanks for watching.